Hello and welcome to this Lumention video vignette in which we discuss how you can use Lumention Endpoint Management and Security Suite to better protect your endpoints. Hello, my name is Chris Merritt and today I'm joined by Dee Liebenstein, Vice President of Product Management. Welcome Dee. Thanks. So we're here to talk about the new advanced memory protection capabilities that are being introduced into Lumention Application Control. So Dee, why don't we start by talking about what are these memory attacks? How are they different from other types of attacks we've seen before? Sure. So memory infections uh, today have become kind of the attack vector of choice for targeted threats and advanced persistent threats. Uh, these are challenging because they are running in memory and they're less obvious to the defender when they're present. We see them most often exploit vulnerabilities and Typically, we see them start with buffer overflow vulnerabilities, which represent almost a quarter of all of the highly critical, critical rated vulnerabilities out there today. So once the buffer overflow is successful and that vulnerability has been exploited, that's when the real fun begins and the injection into memory starts. Now, there are a lot of different ways to inject memory, and the Probably one of the first ways that we saw was something called remote DLL injection. And this approach very simply um, places a DLL on the disk and loads that DLL into memory from disk. This is something that typically is detectable, something that is picked up by some antivirus products if it's a known threat and can be stopped by application controller whitelisting solutions. We've also seen these threats advance though and become more stealth. Um, next, we saw something introduced that's referred to as escape JT memory injection. Where this advanced is now the DLL is being loaded from memory into memory. So it's never hitting the disk. This makes it more difficult to detect and stop. More recently, we've seen something called reflective memory injection, or RMI. And this is one of the most stealth ways that you can inject memory. With reflective memory injection, the payload is actually being injected into an already running process. So this is something that you've already authorized to run on your computer. It's on your whitelist, it's passed in the AV scan, it's something you trust. And now the attacker is injecting straight into that process. Very difficult to detect because it never touches the file system and because it looks like something you would expect to run in your environment. So what are the impacts of these advanced memory attacks? Well, these memory attacks can do a lot of damage and it can range. Um, really just as with any type of malware, you can see anything from confidential information being stolen, proprietary information, intellectual property. You can see keylogger activity. Um, it could be set up as a bot and communicate with other uh, systems across the internet. It can really do any type of damage to the endpoint or application or network compromise you can imagine. Um, these attacks, can often be the attack itself. The memory injection can be the attack, or it can be part of a more complex attack and be pulled in at certain points of infection or payload. So are there any examples of this type of an attack? There's really probably an infinite list of examples of this type of attack, and they've been around for a while, and each use memory injection in a little bit different way. Uh, some of the more common ones that we've heard of are things like the Aurora attack. This affected a lot of large companies. It resulted in stealing proprietary information and intellectual property and became a real issue. Um, we've heard, a lot of us heard of the Conficker worm, the Conficker attack. This actually had a lot of different attack methods that used memory injection as part of its own self-defense process. So again, using it in pieces. In 2012, we saw a lot of these as well. Um, early in 2012 with Flame, we saw this attack really use memory injection 
to try to hide itself. It was injecting memory into known acceptable processes that looked like everything was working as normal. So it was, it was uh, really very effective at hiding itself and the result was it was difficult to detect. What we've also started to see is a lot of these memory injections um, take place with leveraging Java. And in December, there was um, a threat that actually is said to have affected more than 300,000 Russian systems and set up this fileless bot and was communicating with other servers and sharing a lot of information about the systems as well as able to lay down additional malware for, for later execution. Um, this type of um, threat is also very concerning because of its nature and leveraging vulnerabilities in Java, this type of thing could be used cross-platform, which makes the, the potential for damage even greater. And since they're in memory, uh, how does that impact uh, always-on systems like servers? Well, servers have actually become prime candidates for this. Because they're on, because they're available, they're available to exploit and inject the memory. And servers hold a lot of very valuable information, proprietary information, and have key important controls on them. Because of that, when a server is compromised and memory is injected, and because it is always on, it can go undetected for a very long period of time. And it will remain active, available for the attacker for the whole time that system is on until it's restarted. And could be longer if it leaves something behind. So how do current protections uh, work against these memory exploits? Well, you know, as, as we always say, defense in depth is important, and there are certainly a lot of good technologies today that help provide that defense. It all starts with patching. Uh, they start with vulnerability exploits, so patching your systems is key. Now, we've seen a lot of activity recently around zero-day threats and zero-day vulnerabilities being exploited, and those are frightening because there is no mitigation straight off the bat. But the reality is still most attacks are targeting known vulnerabilities with readily available patches. So I can't emphasize enough, patching your systems is the first most important defense. Um, some of what we consider traditional malware prevention uh, can also be effective effective for these threats that touch the file, that load the DLL into memory from the file system. Antivirus products may prevent, may block, and application controller whitelisting solutions will stop. If it's not authorized on the whitelist, that DLL will not be allowed to load into memory. So those still work today. Um, and we've seen a lot of advancements in operating system security with the introduction of data execution prevention, or DEP, and address space layout randomization, or ASLR. These have helped raise the bar. They've made it more difficult to exploit memory in the operating system. Um, so it's, it's, it's raised the cost of exploit, but it hasn't eliminated the risk of exploit. And the result is, once you get into memory, you can, you can do just about anything and get full control of the system. So what does this new advanced memory protection uh, capability actually do then? Well, Lumetion's advanced memory protection is really about monitoring the system memory and looking for evidence of exploitation. When we see that evidence, we stop the process, we stop the injected code, and log the event. Now this is a little bit different approach to memory protection than we've seen in the past. DEP, ASLR, and some other vendors are really focusing more on building new walls to stop the exploit of memory. And that's a good approach, but as we've said, it's an approach that can be overcome. And for attackers, this is just another wall to breach. At Lumension, we've taken the approach that if the attacker really wants to get through, they're gonna find a way to break through that wall. And when they do, we're going to be there watching and waiting. When we see the exploit in memory, we're going to stop the process and stop the attack. So what are the benefits to the organization then? Well, Lumetion's endpoint management and security suites, new memory protection, 
really provides a new layer of defense against these memory injection threats, these threats that are difficult to detect and difficult to stop. Although there is nothing 100% effective, what advanced memory protection does is bring another tool to help you secure your network assets and protect against these advanced persistent threats of today. Thanks very much, Dave. Thank you. So if you're interested in learning more, please go to our website at www.lumension.com, where you can also get a application scanner to scan your network and see what sorts of applications are running there. In addition, we have free download of the Lumension application control product, which you can then run on your network and uh, test out the system. Thank you very much.